we're at the Shofar Factory. We're going to show you how they make the Shofar. The high holidays coming up. And we got kids who are going to make it with us this morning, too. Everybody say good morning. Come on back and join us right here tonight with this news this morning. We're in Brooklyn. We're in Crown Heights. We're at the Shofar Factory. We're with kids, and we're going to make the Shofar this morning. Say, everybody say good morning. Morning. Now, Michal, blow the Shofar for us this morning since, you know, the Shofar is a wake-up call, a wake-up call for repentance. Now, here it is. You know, maybe if Joe Nolan heard that about, oh, say, 4 a.m., he would be at work on time, don't you think? I think so, too. Mahal, very nice. Nice to meet you this morning. How are you? How are you? Thank God. We're, fine. we're glad to be we're joining here. in this morning. We're going to give them a little uh, education as to the importance and what the shofar is. So why don't you do that for us real quick? Well, the uh, shofar is a very important thing right now during the uh, new year. We're going to be sounding in the new year for Rosh Hashanah, and that's what all Jews all over the world do. And what we like to do is we like to show the kids how to learn more about the shofar by actually making one themselves. Very good. All right, well, the kids are going to do that this shofar morning. Shofar factory. We're getting ready for the high holidays, and we're going to have kids and show them how to make the shofar, and we're going to get a lesson in making that coming up in just a minute. The shofar workshop this morning, Bill. That's right, we're in Crown Heights at the shofar factory. We're making the shofar for Rosh Hashanah. The high holidays are upon us. The new year is coming, and we've got boys and girls making the shofar and the AccuWeather forecast coming up next. Right here at Eyewitness News this morning. Come on, Bill Evans is helping us prepare for the Jewish New Year. Bill. That's right. We are still working on that shofar. Come on, ladies. we got to get that all cut up. I'm working on mine, too, but I'm getting some very professional help here from Mahal. We'll be back with your AccuWeather forecast next right here at Eyewitness News this morning, and we'll sound the shofar. Good. He's giving us an earful of sorts, Bill. That's right. Aaron here is drilling out the shofar, the ram's horn. Not only is Aaron a professional shofar maker, he's also a dentist. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> We're back with the AccuWeather Forecast Bag right here tonight. Power tools! That's trouble. Hope they have a first aid kit. Yeah, that's funny we too. Trouble. We got the troubles now. Now see, I just cut the end off of my uh, ram's horn here. Yeah. The shofar. And I'm, I'm still working on it here. Now, you, just because you cut the end off, it's not done yet. I got to drill out the center here. Right. So we're here at the Shafar factory. We're right here in Crown Heights. This is Bacall, <laughs> the my dentist. factory <laughs> representative and teacher. You see what you do? You, you take the end of this and, and what do you call this? Right, it's the tip of the shofar. You cut it off so that you can drill a hole in there. Okay. And that leaves you a nice little souvenir. You can tell all your friends you got a miniature chauffeur you for your keys. Ah, there you go. Now, the difference between the, sh the, the chauffeur and the bugle it's, it's almost the same, I guess. It's very similar, except you can make a lot of nice notes on there, I noticed. You should not wake people up. Wake up! The That's, rabbi doesn't do that usually, though. No, I, I'm sure the rabbi would be very <laughs> upset with me at this point. The rabbi might like it, but uh, the now, chauffeur is actually a much more uh, a, a simple sound. It represents the call of the soul. The We're going to blow some of these this morning as the kids keep drilling there. As you'll see, you drill it, you do a little sanding, and then you shellac the shofar. So we've got about 50 to 75 kids here with us this morning at the shofar factory. And as they get their work going this morning, holidays coming up, you want to get a look at this. It's, it's, it's quite an art to doing this. It's a uh, seminar experience. All of our guys here are trained. We have seminars before the holidays to train all the rabbinical students here in 770, the Barbershop World Headquarters. Right. And the guys get trained and they're able to go out there and do these things all over the world. We've got guys doing this all over America. Hey, that's pretty good. What's your name? Hey, hey, hey. very good. All right, now when we come back, we're going to be blowing these things. So we're going to wake everybody up for a time of a new year is upon us. Leave it to Bill. Wake that baby up. Oh. Rise is also getting tuned up for Rosh Hashanah. We've got your AccuWeather forecast, we've got the chauffeur, and we've got kids making chauffeurs for the high holidays coming up. we got your AccuWeather forecast coming up next when we come back, right here from Crown Heights on Highway this morning. Shafar. This is Michal who is giving me uh, a lesson on how to make the Shafar. And since they know I'm not a real professional Shafar blower, this is the one they gave me. <laughs> now, maybe I can blow that one. But anyway, we're drilling out the Shafar this morning. We're going to drill out mine here in just a moment. Where do you get all of these ram horns? That's an interesting question because, in fact, uh, we're told that before the Messiah comes, and the Lubavitcher Rebbe always told us the Messiah is very imminent, 
that all nations would gather together to help do the commandments of God. And since Boyan the Shofar is one of the commandments of God, I found out one, one very interesting uh, coincidence. When I needed horns, I went around to all these farmers finding out, where do I get horns from? They told me, you know who you have to go to? Go to the Muslims, they eat halal meat. And over there you can get goat horns. And inadvertently or not, we are now having the Arabs and the Muslims and whoever believes in the halal meat giving us goat horns so that the Jewish kids can blow chauffeurs. Well now there's an interesting combination. Yes it is. Alright, well very good. That's great to hear. Now, as we drill out the shofar, then the yeah, kids you want to go... Try yours? Let's drill that baby out. Okay. There we go. Drill out the shofar. I mean, you, you must be good with this because you got to drill this out and I'm like, you can like, you can drill your hand. I uh, I did that once when I was young. No more of that. How, how many how many of these do you make in uh, in a year before uh, the new year? About twenty thousand with the kids around the New York, New Jersey, and the uh, tri-state area. Wow. Now you're gonna be doing this on Sunday in Washington Square Park at one o'clock. Everyone is invited. You'll have a great time making your own shofar to sound in the new year. Rosh Hashanah with. Now I know that the the shofar is. Uh, of course, uh, the binding of Abraham to God. And the abiding of Isaac. Isaac Abraham to was told by God that uh, he wanted to do uh, one more, uh, one more test. Abraham was the most faithful person uh, ever that there ever was to uh, to God. And uh, he, when God asked him to sacrifice his son Abraham, so uh, Abraham agreed. And uh, and uh, the uh, at the binding. God told Abraham this is only a test, no. and there appeared a ram, and that's why we have the tradition of blowing a ram's horn. Now they're going to hear me all the way to Jerusalem, and the walls of Jericho are going to come down. Here we go. Oh, you made a great one. Crown right. We are making shofar this morning. Zay, back with you in just a moment. All right, stay with us. Thanks, Bill. Probably no two sound the same. That's probably right. It's a beehive of activity. <laughs> sure. Let's uh, head out to Brooklyn, Bill Evans. Now that the kids are about to have all their chauffeurs done, they're, they got them shellacked. We got our shellacking on there. Yeah, I guess that's where the phrase take a shellacking came from. So now we are sounding the sound of the new year of the pedals of the Brooklyn chauffeurs. Thank you very much. So I have one for Maggie and one for William, my son and my daughter, my four-year-old, my two-and-a-half-year-old. We'll be here throughout Good Morning America. Sounding the air right here at Crown Heights. We're here making the show part. Nice job, guys. No, that's almost a show part. Close to it. Here's something. You have a great day and a great New Year Sunday evening. Well, you can expect a few clouds, right? Like right here in Crown Heights. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Bill Evans, and here's what's going on. Sundown, blow the shofar, shall we? You can expect clouds, but then we'll have some sunshine later on. We're here at Crown Heights. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Bill Evans getting ready for Rosh Hashanah. Good morning, meteorologist Bill Evans. We're here at Crown Heights getting ready for the new year for Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> nice job. Making shofars all morning long, and the kids want to say, like, I have a happy new year. Let's listen to the shofar. <laughs> Have a good day, Nevada.